Shameless bragging alert. That's me. We shall not discuss why the last name is different. First author, it's a big deal, am I right? So I wanted to share this with my exercise science students and being the responsible adult that I am, I knew I needed to first check the accessibility before posting. So I used Adobe Acrobat Pro's accessibility checker and I was horrified. In my defense, this was from 1999 and the internet had only been around for six years. Anyway, you may be wondering, Debbie, what does all of this mean exactly? So let's rewind. Remember that we said that digital information needs to be perceivable and operable. See character encoding, tagging, alternative text. This means that not all students can recognize and understand my information. See tab order, tables, lists. And this means that not all students can navigate my information. We'll start with tags. WCAG tells us that content must be presented in a way that prevents the loss of information or structure. Let's take a closer look at my article. This isn't tagged, nor is this, or this. You get my point. There are multiple places in this PDF that cannot be perceived by a person using a screen reader. It's pretty much the entire article. Next up, encoding. Wow. There are 405 unperceivable words. That means that not all computing systems will understand this font. Alternative text. Well, all of this is about my non-text content. Tab order. WCAG refers to this as focus order, and it means that this document cannot be navigated in sequential order. And it's the same with the table order. Here's table three. A screen reader has no way of knowing the logical sequence. Should it read as rows, columns? Is this even a column? Lists. It probably means my references. So what should I do here? Well, first, when you create, say, a Word document, you have control over whether the information is perceivable and operable. In general, Word accessibility carries over when you save this as a PDF. But a PDF you did not author? I will be brutally honest, it's not easy to fix. You've got four options. Option number one, if you are so lucky as to have one at your institution, become best friends with your accessibility expert. Typically, this person will possess the tools and the knowledge required to fix the problem. But what if you are not that lucky? Option number two, and a tread lightly here, attempt to fix it yourself. I consider myself to be fairly well versed in this area, but it was not without trial and error, fits of rage, and I'm not ashamed to say, crying. But I shall now attempt to fix this problem with Adobe. Tagged problem. Here I can fix it, and oh, it passed. All of these problems, well, most of them, they were fixed. And the tables and lists passed too. Ah, and tab order. I can also fix the primary language. And the title. The figures alternative text, well, tagging didn't fix this, and so I need to do some manual work. Here it shows me that this is an issue. And I decide that this is a decorative figure because basically it doesn't provide anything meaningful. And we get a lot of this throughout the document. But now we get to figure one. So what do I do here? Well, I could start by looking at the caption. Does it tell me everything about this graph? No, it does not give specific information about the Y axis. And remember from our alternative text video, we said that people who are dyslexic are often visual learners. Do we see anything about the bar colors? Nope. So I would need to take time to write out alternative text. And we need this video to be less than hopefully seven minutes. So let's just say that I did it for figure two and figure three and figure four and yeah figure five. This is going to take some time. 
Now, do you see how I do not get the nice fix option with character encoding? This could be a big problem and Adobe tells me straight up they cannot help. So everything I just fixed, it may not matter if none of the words are perceivable. Option number three, copy and paste into Word and try to fix it yourself. Now, you are changing the layout, but in general, it's unlikely you'll run into copyright issues provided you do not modify the content. One thing about this option, the process itself is tedious. Option number four, find an accessible alternative. As if another article could replace this masterpiece. All kidding aside, there are some accessible PDFs, but I would never lie to you. You'll need to invest a fair amount of time finding them.